Hey, I got your decaf latte. If you want to decompress. <laughs> my, my. See, my crash course has tired you out. Uh, business plans, quarterly reports, stock options. It's a lot to take in. Well, you're getting the basics. Give yourself some time. I don't know, Craig. Corporate logistics is beyond me. You are a woman of endless possibilities. You can do anything you set your mind to. I think it might be better if I just hand over worldwide back to Lucinda. Sure, you can do whatever you want. I do believe, though, that once you get a handle on this, you can learn to love it. And who knows? You might even be a bigger power broker than even Lucinda. <laughs> oh, darling, I hope you're not falling for the garbage he's spewing out. Am I... Am I understanding this correctly? You're... you're teaching Meg how to be a CEO. Well, that's the goal, but we are starting with business fundamentals. Well, make sure he teaches you about shady deals, because he's a master of those. Actually, Meg is learning very quickly. So, um, <clears throat> and despite the annulment, you've assigned the company to Meg. You kept your word. And that surprises you? Um, not entirely. Well, thank you for that. We both know that keeping your word is a cover for something else. Uh, the question now is... <sighs> What's in it for you? Well, maybe I'm a natural-born teacher. I am finding this entire process very satisfying. Oh, why? Why is that? We both know that you wouldn't be supporting Meg as, as a CEO unless you were getting something. Oh, I will, I will. I get to watch you squirm as Meg takes this corporation way beyond your limited horizons. Okay, now I've got it. He's training you to do his bidding. I can think for myself, Lucinda. Darling, this isn't a nursing school. What is that supposed to be? Darling, darling. I mean, don't get your nursing credentials in a twist. I mean, I have nothing against the nursing profession, but for heaven's sake, your checkered career at the hospital, I mean, you pile mistake upon mistake until you finally had to dwindle you know, into wearing a different kind of uniform as a, as a waitress in a diner and as serving, I'm sorry, my dear, I'm sorry, but serving a milkshake to me does not make you ready and able to run a corporation like Worldwide. I never said I was ready. In fact, I was just telling Craig that I think we should hand the company over to you. It might be uh, the wisest move. Oh, something s sensible at last. But as you pointed out, I rarely make wise moves. <laughs> and since my life has been a series of mistakes, what's one more? One too many. Let's stick to the original plan. I have a new plan. I am keeping the corporation for myself. I... I take this as a personal betrayal. Oh, come on. You lost, Lucinda. Just get over it. Have you made this decision, Meg, out of some misguided anger against me? Actually, I'm trying to be positive. Oh. My mother suggested that I keep the company and do something worthwhile with it. <laughs> Your mother knows nothing about business. Oh, really? Since when? She's run a farm almost single-handedly for almost two decades now. And even if she doesn't know anything about business, she knows plenty about me. Oh, so you think that Mama knows her offspring and so that she has faith that you can do the impossible. Is that it? She believes that people can reinvent themselves. Even me. Darling, look. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you blame me and punish me and keep my company for Paul's death, you're helping him. My decision has nothing to do with Paul. Of course, it has something to do with Paul. Paul was part of the whole scheme of getting worldwide back and, and of settling old scores. At the beginning, maybe. Not at the end, Paul wanted to stop. And neither of you took any action. And so what happened? The action that was taken led to his untimely death. And I blame myself, no one else. Why don't you blame Craig? He's the one who lured 
fall to the cliffs. But no, you stand here drinking in his every word, his every syllable, and ignoring the fact that the only scheme that worked around here was his scheme to get rid of Paul Ryan. It's a lifelong <laughs> objective, and he finally accomplished it. How many it. times do I have to say this? Paul slipped. I had no intention of anyone dying. You hated, hated Paul. And yet Meg stands here grieving and loving, and she's blaming me? Blaming me? Why? Uh, oh, oh. You find him that good in bed?